exercise. You must exercise every day. It has to be a minimum of one hour. Got to be a minimum of one hour. Minimum. Half an hour is to maintain. An hour is to reverse. Your goal is to reverse your disease. So you need an hour. You need to make sure that you have a combination of cardiovascular, which means that the walking and what have you. Don't drag your feet. Walk with back straight up, head up. Walk with brisk and move like you got some life in you. Resistant, you can do resistance workout. Resistance workout is good. Some people do resistance workout with light weights. Believe it or not, if you tense up and simply did this and just tensed up and did that, that actually is also a resistance workout. All right? Pause for just one moment. So therefore, you can do that as well. Water. You want to make sure that you're taking your body weight, dividing it in half. Whatever that number is, that's the amount of ounces of water you want to drink per day. You can start by having two glasses early morning, two glasses mid-morning, two glasses early afternoon, two glasses early evening and you'll cover your eight glasses of water at minimum right there. So schedule it out. Don't try to guzzle it all down in one moment, and then you're going to have to put a bed and shower in the bathroom because that's where you're going to be living. So don't, don't do it like that. Just go ahead and manage your water properly. When you exercise, do it in the open air. Do it in the open air. And the reason why is because when you breathe in pure fresh air, make sure you're somewhere where they got enough trees so that way there's a good amount of oxygen going out. Why? Because when you take that fresh air in, it works as a purifier and detoxifier to your lungs to get the foul stuff out. Bedtime needs to be between 9 and 10. When you go to bed, keep your room exceeding dark. Dark. No night lights, no television, no bright lights of any kind. Keep it very, very dark. Amen? And the reason why you want to do that is because the, oh boy, I always get them too mixed up. I believe it's melatonin that comes from the brain, that releases to the body, it releases when it's dark. When you got light coming in and flashing through the eyelids, the brain signals are not taking it that you are now resting and it's also bedtime and it's dark and it's time to release the melatonin. Now the last thing I'm going to encourage you to do is this, devotions. If you're not having devotional time, devotional time with the Lord, every morning, every evening. Medical science is becoming baffled on how people who have good walks with the Lord are actually overcome sick, overcoming sickness and disease. Now, it doesn't surprise God. God said that was my regimen all along. But man is becoming surprised by this. So you need to make sure that you are having good devotional lives. You make sure that you have morning devotion, evening devotion, every day per day. Search your heart. God makes a promise. He says, I am the Lord your God that heals you. Read Exodus 15, 26. You want to write that down? And here's the thing. When you read Exodus 15, 26, here's the thing that I want you to remember, which is this. God does promise. He says, I will keep the diseases that fell upon the Egyptians. He says, I'll keep them from falling upon you. The Egyptians suffered with diabetes. They suffered with hypertension. They suffered with cancer. They suffered with arthritis. They suffered with smallpox. They suffered with eczema. They suffered with tuberculosis. All of those diseases that you read in Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 60, when God says, I will cause you to suffer with the botch, I'll cause you to suffer with uh, emrods, which were hemorrhoids. When God said all those different things in the Bible, those are diseases that we understand to be today, the many different things I mentioned. It's so deep. Now God says, I'll protect you from them when you follow me and keep my commandments. If you know that you're not living according to God's commandments, how can you go to God and ask for his blessings? It's very difficult. So therefore, we have to reconcile in our hearts and say, Lord, is my life in line with your will? Because healing only comes from God. Man can't heal you. Drugs won't heal you. And you'd be amazed. Even herbs can't heal you unless God himself is the one supplying the energy and the power behind the herb to do its job that he made it for.